Hello my dearest WordPress lovers! In today's tutorial we will be creating a poll. So we will be creating a poll, an event poll that is going to be pre-scheduled. So let's not waste time and dive right in. So as you can see for creating a poll I'm using the Pollmaker plugin um, and uh, to create your first poll you need to click on add new however i have pre-made a poll so that we will save time and i will do some explaining so why would you need a scheduled poll let's imagine so the this is the first poll let's enter inside so okay let's imagine that you are making a marketing seminar and you want to know whether your attendees would feel more comfortable being in an indoor venue or outdoor venue. So here I have created the title. If you participate, um, okay, I missed out the in. Okay, so if you participate in the uh, 2020 marketing seminar, please vote. So this is going to be about the seminar. And uh, here you have the category, so you can categorize if there are more than um, one poll, you can categorize to find it easier. And then uh, you can um, directly create a post for your poll from the plugin, which is also a great feature. So you just skip a step by using this function. And then there is the questions part. So we can add a, que uh, add a question image, which I have skipped in my poll. And here we have the question which venue feels the most inspiring for you as an attendee so you can see that here we have poll types choosing rating voting drop down i promise that if you follow uh, us in the channel you will see videos and tutorials for each of these types so i have chosen for my today's poll the versus type because we are going to um, compare two venues so here we have the answers. After question comes the type. So you choose the type and then you come to the answer part. We have here outdoors venue and then you click on this icon and add the answer image, which you will see right here. And then we have the second answer, which is indoors venue. Again, um, with the same logic, you click on this and then you add the second uh, image for the second answer. You can decide whether you want to show the pictures horizontal or vertical, the versus pictures. I have chosen uh, the horizontal one and then uh, you can choose this, uh, choose this icon type which is a very detailed customization actually. There is this battle one and there is this times and default and we also have the classic one which is I find it most uh, like the beautiful one I guess okay so this is just something personal right and then you can uh, display it in the start or you can display it in the center or in the end I like it better at the start this is also something very personal so you decide for yourself all right, so this is it. Now let's go to the settings tab and here we need to find the schedule option. So why you might need to schedule your uh, poll. So let's imagine you want to collect as many votes as you can and you just make a post on your social media accounts that you are going to make a voting about uh, the marketing seminar that you have made for your attendees to know their opinion. So you say, everyone do you ask everyone to a vote on a certain day for example on the 1st of july uh, please vote mm, the time is limited only for one day what you would prefer right so here we have the start date and this is where you configure it when your poll is going to start and here we have an end date here we you configure it when your poll is going to end you can also configure it the timing if you want um, the timer you can also show a timer to tempt your um, poll takers to vote and to not waste their time you can write down a pre-start message for example the poll will be available soon so whenever you display it in a post or a page but the time haven't come uh, yet uh, this message is going to be there um, so that your attendees know that at the certain day the poll is going to be available and there is also expiration message so that your attendees know that the poll is closed and the voting is closed 
So uh, here we have default messages. You can just change it, customize it, add icons, images, just whatever. And uh, by default, it says the poll has expired. You can show the result button and after it expired, you can display the results or you can just um, choose not to show the poll after it expired. So this was it about scheduling your poll. All you need to do is just click uh, save or apply poll. And uh, also let's see how to view your poll in the dashboard. So for that, you can go to general settings. You can tick the create post for poll, and then you can choose the post category where you want to display it. And also there is another way, which is uh, the common way to do it. Uh, to click copy uh, the shortcut and then go to posts and then add new and then add your shortcut block and publish paste the shortcut and publish and you can click on view post and here is our poll this is how it looks it is fully customizable it is up to you how you want your poll to look so let's click vote and see there is only one vote because this is just a poll that i have created so this was about it so this was it for our today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed it all i ask you is to subscribe our youtube channel uh, hit your notification bell to uh, receive all the new updates and video tutorials also, you can comment down below what you would like to see more of in our channel or maybe some video ideas and we will happily do that. So this was it. See you soon. Bye.